Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my team of the year 87 rated Landon Donovan, the LA Galaxy player. And uh, yes, yeah, so naturally he's a centre forward. Price goes for some pretty crazy batshit price. Um, at the moment, he goes for about 160k on the PS3 and 120k on the Xbox. And to be honest with you, that is quite a large difference in price between the two consoles. But um, it always tends to be that the PS3 is a little bit more expensive. But uh, it's quite more expensive in this case. It's card weight, um, medium. But I mean, take a look at those stats. 89 pace, 90 shot, 88 passing, 88 dribbling. All round, those are some fantastic stats. But if you just sit tight, keep your willies in your pants for now and uh, I'll show you guys the in-game stats just in a little bit but I mean look at the price here so I found this graph really strange now bear in mind he is just recently out so prices you know they're they're quite high at the moment and I do expect them to dip but if you look on the Xbox it's kind of been very steady if not about to dip but if you look on the PS3 it's actually been rising and one of the things that happens with informs is the fact that they usually dip uh, the longer they're out for but uh, I mean they've it's risen with uh, Landon Donovan which was quite strange but uh, yeah, guys, let's get straight into uh, the stats anyways. So, holy crap. That's all I have to say. Look at these stats. Um, pretty much all of them are in the bright green. A couple dark greens and one in there in the yellow with his um, heading. But he's only five foot eight, so you don't expect his heading to be that great. And, uh, I mean, those are just incredible stats. 96 shot power, 91 long shot. I might just add that his long shots are really, really good. His shots in general are are absolutely fantastic four star weak foot which is an absolute bonus you know it's always great to have a striker with a good left foot as well because uh, Donovan is a right footed player um, unfortunately only three star skills but I mean take a look at these physical attributes 94 acceleration 94 agility all just really really immense stats and that's one of that's probably the best thing about him is the fact that he's just all round a really really solid player so you guys might be wondering Cal I mean if you take a look at that price I'd be expecting someone pretty special when I buy him and to be honest with you no he's not an amazing team of the year no he's not one of the players that you must get during your time in ultimate team he's just a really solid player if someone said to me have a Landon Donovan you know you're not gonna say no because he is really really a good player a solid player and with stats like that you can't really say no but unfortunately I have to admit those stats do lie a little bit because his pace for me really doesn't feel that fast although don't get me wrong he is a quick player he just doesn't feel you know nippy and quick which is uh, quite a strange thing to be honest especially with having those sort of bright green stats that shows on there but I mean that's one of the things I've learned throughout my time on FIFA Ultimate Team is the fact that you should never trust the stats alone always try out the player before you judge him based on his stats because I mean you look at the players like Lukaku um, his stats aren't exactly insane um, I mean he's got good strength and things but the way he plays is fantastic again with a bong Lahore the only thing he's things he has is pretty much pace but his shot is unreal so I mean stats for me have become quite irrelevant uh, bef like I won't buy a player based on his stats unless um, you know I've been told by a friend that he is actually really good so uh, I mean Landon Dol uh, Donovan, sorry, Donovan is just all round a great player. Like I said, use his um, use his shot power. His shot power is lethal. I mean, here's a penalty for you, and uh, you guys know I always go down the middle and just above the keeper's head. Although I will add that I actually got caught out on that recently. Um, some guy, m maybe he actually messaged me afterwards saying he watched my videos, and so I'm guessing that he just knows I always put it straight down the middle above the keeper's head, and me saying it in this commentary probably isn't going to help me in the future as well, because, um, I don't know, I just find it's, it almost always goes in unless the guy knows that you're most definitely going to put it there, and, uh, unfortunately I came up a guy who knew it, but, I mean, as you can see there, that's a, that's an example, Donovan, he, he's, he's strong as well, that's one of the really cool things about him, he might not feel that fast, but with like solid pace, he feels like an 86 pace player, but with that 86 feeling of pace combined with some solid, solid strength, he can pretty much muscle off most defenders and then just burn straight past him. Um, but there he kind of goes for the sliding tackle slash a goal and manages to get away with it. So uh, his strength is solid, his pace is good. Um, I mean, you guys will be thinking, Cal, just, I mean, his stats say otherwise, but I mean, his pace really doesn't feel as quick as it should do, which is a bit of a letdown, but uh, you, you just got to go with these things. But I mean, as you can see there, I mean, that is a rocket of a shot. You always know it's a really good shot when the ball kind of rolls 
rolls around the back of the net. And uh, it's an awesome feeling when something like that goes in. But uh, if you guys are wondering what sort of team I played Donovan in, I actually did a squad builder on this particular team. It was a formation frenzy. It was the 4-4-2 team. It was an MLS slash English hybrid. A really nice team, I might add. And here's an example of Donovan's weak foot. Kind of, it was a bit of a messy goal, but he manages to... Uh, do some crazy ass celebration with Beckford at the end there, kind of rolling over each other. Gotta love the impact engine in FIFA 12. What a what a bit of a shambles it is this year, but hopefully in FIFA 13 I expect it to be, um, you know, just a little bit better and a little bit uh, more tidied up. And Donovan there with a solid finesse. Like I said, his finesse shot is nothing to be bragging about whatsoever. Definitely just uh, just stick to the power shots and things like that. So just quickly, let's get into the good, the bad, the ugly. As always, the good. All round solid stats, just solid player in general, you know, nothing crazy like his. There's not one stat there which makes me go, oh my god, he's most definitely a player that you should definitely be using this particular tactic with. He's got good passing, good strength, good pace, just an all round solid, solid player. The bad is that he just doesn't feel like the 89 pace that um, it says he is on the card. And the ugly is that horrible 150k price tag. That's about the average at the moment. So hopefully he drops a little bit in that. But uh, that'll do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I mean, that is uh, Donovan in a nutshell for you all. On the left-hand side, you have the video, which is uh, my well informed Wellbeck review. I talk a little bit about him compared to his normal card. And then on the right si right-hand side, we, had, we have yesterday's vid video. Ah, can hardly speak today. Um, we have yesterday's video which was a starting from scratch so I hope you all enjoy either of those videos I'll try and annotate them as quickly as possible so you guys can click on them um, also I released a few t-shirts if you're interested in those there's a link down below and uh, you guys can check those out there's some funky ones there's some would you like some salt with those chips t-shirts and all that fun shenanigans so yeah that'll do it for me today like I said click either of the videos if you'd like to see any of those and uh, I'll see you all later bye bye